What's going on guys? The Mixed Manga here. Good to see you guys. Wow, it has been a few weeks, hasn't it? I'm so sorry about that. I just finished up some finals and there are some more coming up. So life's been a little crazy. Anyway, today I have, well, technically November manga reading log, even though I haven't done one for the past few months. So it's kind of a compilation of all the manga I've been reading. Without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with this volume right here, volume three of Perfect World. Now, this series is absolutely amazing. Here's a little bit of the artwork. It's about this girl right here, Sugumi. I think that I'm pretty sure that's her name. And this is Itsuki. And basically their relationship and the struggles they have to deal with because Itsuki is obviously disabled. So it's not a normal relationship and it's a very light-hearted and warm series it's definitely worth a read i've talked about it enough i'll go on to the next one next up we have ajin now what can i say about ajin it's small it's thin and it's expensive but it is an extremely good series i read one through ten during these few months uh, i actually read them in about three days all ten they were extremely good only downside is how thin they are, so you don't really get too much. And the price, which is, there it is, $12.95 US. And that's pretty expensive. Even buying them on right stuff comes out to about $9.25, something like that. That is pretty expensive for a single volume of manga. But I highly recommend that you guys pick this series up. I didn't pay full price for these. If you guys look back a few hauls ago, I got these on ebay 1 through 10 for a pretty good deal which i don't remember what it was but i did not end up paying the full price or the right stuff price which is awesome but if you guys have not been reading ajin definitely check it out if you're into seinen in general definitely check it out it's a very good series pick it up next up we have blue flag number four a series i've talked about before so i don't really want to get too much into it just because of spoilers but if you have not checked this series out, definitely check out at least the first volume. It's a pretty good series, and the covers are 100% solid, especially the first volume. Really sick covers for the series on top of a good story, so definitely check it out. Now we've got Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I read the first two volumes of this series, and I definitely wish I would have picked up more. This was very interesting and fun to read. The concept, is basically without spoilers because ba it's basically in the first volume first few pages this guy right here hanako he is a spirit and the school that this character right here goes to i can't remember her name there are spirits at this school so she can see and communicate with him and it's basically their adventures so far and it's actually a very cool concept very interesting i love this story the characters are pretty cool so I definitely recommend you guys check this series out if you haven't. Again, an expensive one. Yeah, Impress is always a little more pricey, but definitely worth a read. Well, I also read Seven Deadly Sins Volume 20, so I'm officially halfway to current release. The 40th volume came out a week or two ago. Uh, slowly getting there. Uh, I stopped watching the anime somewhere around here. In the next few volumes, I should catch up. But I'm going to stick to manga only, especially because of the the animation studio change if you guys haven't heard of the legendary Escanor and Meliodas fight it was so bad people thought it was fan made it was just terrible so I'm just sticking to manga only for this series it's still an incredible series check this out next up I read all seven volumes of the Sword Art Online progressive manga that are currently out and good timing because the first volume of the well it's the same series but they changed the name I'm not really sure why I guess it's I think it's a new arc, but I'm not, I don't understand why they switched series for that. If you guys know, let me know, but I don't remember the, the name after Progressive that they gave the series, but a picture of it's on the screen right now. But yeah, these first seven volumes are really good. And if I'm not mistaken, these are very close to the light novels. I'm not sure because I haven't read the first light novel, but they will be redoing Sword Art Online and Sword Art Online Progressive, the anime coming out soon. So I'm hyped to see that because they don't skip floors and they give more in-depth character background and development, which is going to be awesome to see. 
All right, guys, here we have Bleach, Volume 74. I completed Bleach, and I have read all of it. And for those of you who don't know, Bleach is actually the first volume of manga I ever read and got me into manga. This series is very special to me because it'll always be the first series I ever read. Now, the ending of Bleach is very controversial because the mangaka, Taite Kubo, he didn't get to end the series how he wanted. And I was reading some articles and in his mind, he was only halfway done with the series, which is crazy. It'd still be running today. So they didn't let him finish how he wanted. And that really sucks because this last set of Bleach was very interesting. There were quite a few plot holes and it was rushed. It def you definitely feel it rushed, but besides that, it was, a, it was pretty good. Now, I just wish we could see what it would be like if they gave him the opportunity to finish it the way he wanted. Now, I hope they fix some of the stuff in the upcoming anime. I can't wait to see that. And next up, we have something that goes hand in hand with this. We have Bleach Can't Fear Your Own World light novel. I have not completed this yet. I'm currently at chapter four right there. Now, this, these novels take place after Bleach, after the ending of Bleach. Not the, not the ending because there's a time jump at the end, but after the major battle at the end. And this also does a few time jumps here and there. It's kind of a side story, but it's very cool to see what happens to some of the characters. And the second one just came out, so I can't wait to read it. It's on, guys, I ordered it already. It's super thick. It's like literally three of these. That thing's huge. So yeah, I can't wait to finish reading this and then eventually read the second one. Love Bleach, it'll always have a special place in my heart as my very first series. Next up, we have I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. And speaking of the second Bleach Light novel, it's, guys, it's honestly a little thicker than this. I saw it when I went to Barnes and Nobles a few, about a week ago. That thing was massive. So anyway, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I seen the anime, I saw the anime movie before I read this. It honestly goes, it's honestly, they're both very close, so they don't really like a silent voice is the movie's pretty different because it takes out a lot of stuff this actually includes most of it hence why it's so big but it was really good i honestly prefer the anime they're both very emotional but the anime hit a lot harder than the actual manga did the manga is still really good read definitely recommend it Next up, we have one of my favorite ongoing series, Spy Family, volume two. This volume is awesome. I've loved both volumes are awesome. The subtle humor, all of the little things. It's just an amazing series and it makes me laugh out loud a few times reading it. And I actually read all the chapters online for this series as well, so I'm caught up. And it's looking good, guys. So I hear there's an anime coming out. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that. But if there is, I can't wait. This is an amazing series. If you've not read it, definitely pick up the first volume just to check it out. Give it a read. It's 100% worth it. I also read Wotakoi Volume 4. The downside about this series is it has a very slow release date. And I'm talking slow. There isn't even a pre-order for the fifth volume on Right Stuff yet. That's how slow it is. And... This series is just so good. I forget how good it is until I read the next volume. So I definitely recommend you guys check this out. 100% read the first volume. It's about older otakus. So older than me, they're in their late 20s to early 30s. They're already in the workforce. They have their own jobs, but they're otakus. And it goes, it talks about office relationships and whatnot. It is a really good series. It has a lot of nerdy and otaku humor in it. So I definitely recommend you guys check this out. So I finally read all nine volumes of the quintessential quintuplets that I had um, about a month ago. I finished them. This is a very good series if you guys have not read it. It's about basically, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting series. But the basis of it is there are these quintuplets and this this guy, I don't remember his name. I suck at name. He tutors all five of them in school because they're all they all have really bad grades. And they're rich. Last but not least, best for last, we have Monster Volume 8. 
I have not even finished this series. I have one more omnibus to read. I'm waiting for it to come back in stock on right stuff. And this series is already a top five in my list. This series is incredible. If you have not heard about this series, I don't know where you've been. It's a great series. I highly recommend you at least pick up the first omnibus. Look into the series if you have not. 100% pick it up. It's already a top five and I haven't even finished it. That's how good it is. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a manga reading log in a few months, but that's basically what I've been reading. I haven't had a lot of time to read, which really sucks, but you know, there's stuff you have to do in life. There's stuff more important than reading manga. But I just thank you guys for being patient. And I have a haul coming up. So stay tuned for that. I also have a collection video I'm going to be working on. So you guys can finally see my collection. You know, you guys have been waiting and waiting. So to thank you guys for all the support, I'm doing a long awaited collection video. So. Stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and follow my Instagram in the description below. See you guys.